Hey everybody, uh, it's Matt with UMedia Chicago back again uh, to do a little follow-up video. Um, the first time I made a video, I used Adobe Illustrator, um, but not everybody has Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going to show you how to do basically the exact same thing that we did there, um, but instead of using Adobe, I'm just going to use Silhouette. So all of the beginning steps are the exact same. Um, the internet, we find our shape here, our picture, we're going to save it, We've got it saved here on the desktop already, um, and then we're just going to open it up in Silhouette Studio. So basically the exact same, but we're not using Illustrator at all. Um, so this, uh, this is also going to start with us going up to a trace menu. So this is the trace button here. Um, it's going to tell us to select our trace area, uh, which you, you see this little reticule here, and we're just going to drag it down and there we are. So now this is selected. Um, so uh, this is this button here traces the inside and the outside um, and because there is an inside shape we, we want to use use that. Now unfortunately on some of these traces um, depending on how you set up the filters um, it can end up doing this double trace thing here um, which is annoying and you don't want that because it means that it's going to cut twice um, unless you do want it and then great you've, you've got it but we don't want it in this case so what I'm going to do is the second time around here I'm gonna mess with the filters a little bit and by that I mean I'm just gonna turn off this high pass filter um, there's other filters here there's threshold scales etc um, this all changes how it's going to trace the object that you have selected. Um, but fortunately, uh, just by turning this high pass filter off, you can see that this uh, just selects exactly what the shape is, leaving out the eye and the claws here and everything. And then I just hit trace and ba-boom, there it is, good as gold. So uh, I've got my, my bear traced again here. Um, and that's that's that. Now, if you want, you can edit some of the points in silhouette here. Um, so, like, you could decide that you want this weird triangle shape uh, there, but we don't actually want that. So, anyway, uh, that's that's how you edit it um, from inside silo silhouette. Um, you can zoom in and out here, move things around. Etc. Uh, so it works fairly similarly to Illust Illustrator, um, slightly less powerful, but for the simple images, um, it's great, uh, and uh, you can have a good time messing around with it. Okay, uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, if you have any requests for future videos or content, um, we're thinking about doing some further Illustrator tu tutorials um, and maybe some more silhouette. Uh, vinyl cut ideas um, for screen printing or whatever. Um, keep an eye out for those, but if you have any other ideas, please request them in the comments or send us an email um, and let us let us know and we'll get on that. Cool. Thanks for tuning in.